Hey guys, t rex back again here with another episode of Jurassic Craft, the mod on Minecraft. And well, here, I don't really know what I want to do today. I was thinking of the Sauropod Hotel, which a couple of you have been mentioning a lot recently. Maybe start that? I mean, it's going to be quite a big enclosure, quite a big hotel. So I don't really know right now. I need to get a big open land for that. I'm kind of thinking a giant theropod carnival as I haven't actually had one yet. I've got a bit of space over here. I was thinking maybe do... Spinosaurus? Maybe? I mean, he would be a pretty cool dinosaur to have in our map. Have it go into the ocean a little, like a little, like over here, over here, and stop here, and go over here, and here, and here. And have like two or one in. I think that would be pretty cool because then you could go your path down here, down here, and up there, as well as around. It'll be quite interesting. So maybe we'll go there. I don't really know. So I'm just gonna start building for a bit, and I'll be back in a bit. So I'll see you guys in a second. So it looks like I've finally finished the outline. It's gonna go in the water a little. I've kind of made it so underwater is a bit protected, but not fully because. Well, I think it looks a bit weird when you've got full blocks coming to the bottom of the ocean. So I've done these little barriers. I, need, I just need to do this one. But yeah, this, I think this is a nice little area. I'm just going to have one Spinosaurus. One male, hopefully. Hopefully the one from Jurassic Park 3. That kind of look, I like it. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to finish this off a bit more. So I'll see you back in a minute. This isn't probably a good idea, but I want this park to look a bit more friendly. Less, uh kill a dinosaur like Jurassic World so I'm gonna decide to put glass in the windows this may be a bad idea I doubt it is I'm sure it'll be fine but it may be a bad idea so if it is I'm sorry guys but we'll have to see how it goes so yep I'm gonna put glass in the cage glass in the enclosure we'll see how it goes and we'll, we'll see from here once we build this final enclosure so be right back the enclosure is pretty much complete now, just finishing the final touches of the fence. And then we'll spawn in a Spinosaurus and see what else we want to do to this uh, enclosure. I kind of want to make it a bit more swampy looking because, well, I think it will add a bit of a different enclosure looking kind of an enclosure to our park. And I think, like, well, Spinosaurus did live in the, like, lakes and rivers and fed on fish so swamp may be a little suitable for him so yeah we've done all the fences now so actually um well we need to fill in a bit of the gaps i don't know about the back wall i think it looks a bit small maybe a layer or two a level or two up as you can see i've built the thing uh, the barriers in maybe not low enough i don't know i don't think spinosaurus will go in the ocean that much because it's the theropod one, not the four-legged, um, no, it's the bipedal one, not the theropod one. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But yeah, it's the one without, that doesn't walk on fours and stands up. It always stands up, this one. So, yeah, um, let's stop being paranoid and let's just get the Spinosaurus. So we need to find the egg first. Let's go to eggs, uh, Spinos, there you go, straight onto the Spinosaurus. Okay, and well, we'll keep whatever one we get. I don't know whether the face, uh, fences are big enough, tall enough, but we'll see. Okay, so that took a while to spawn in. And there's Spinosaurus. We got the one from the movie, which is pretty nice. Look at him. Look at his model. His little head, his snout. We can't see him properly. Where is he? Anyway, there's the snout. Look at his teeth. Raise the sharp teeth. Ah, oh, pretty cool. Hey, Mr. Spinosaurus. Hey, stop running away. Stop it. Okay, we need it. We need a thumbnail. That's it. Uh, how do we get rid of the... There you go. Will that be a thumbnail? Oh, look at him roar. That's pretty cool. Anyway, let's just have a look at him still while he's running around. He looks a bit big for the enclosure. Let's make it sunny. He looks a bit too big, maybe. I think we need to layer the walls up at one more level. Just to be safe. But there you go. He's got his little water part. If he wants to ever go in there, I don't know if he will. 
He looks like he's already trying to get out, which isn't a good idea. Maybe we need to build these walls higher. So that's what we're going to do while we well, while we look at him and uh, we'll do the enclosure while he's in there. Make it safe. So let's do that. Let's just do one more on every part. So here we go. The fences are bigger now, um, just big enough, I'd say. Maybe a bit bigger needed. We might build a little viewing deck over here, over the top. I think that'll be pretty cool. But I'm pretty upset. Well, not upset. I'm pretty disappointed. I thought he would be more of the newer version. I know it's Jurassic Park mod, pretty much. But I kind of hoped he would be a bit more, what do you call it, friendly in water, like... He has yet to go towards the water. I don't know if he likes it, I don't know if he dislikes it. It'd be cool to see him swimming or something. Maybe he does, I haven't seen it yet. We'll just have to wait and see. I'm gonna build this little uh, walkway over here because I have yet to see him go near the water. And this will be like, well, if he's not gonna go in the water, we might as well add some more land for him. Yeah, it's him. I think it's him, I don't know for sure. But yeah, anyway. Here we go. I think this doesn't look too bad. Not super realistic, to be honest. Well, realistic as in Minecraft realistic. But that'll be fine, that'll be fine, yeah. Anyway, let's have a look at the model a bit more. I, I don't know if I just mentioned this, but I feel like I don't show him off and like the models off enough. And look at him, he's just roaring, it's pretty cool. I mean, okay, look at the model. Like, it's made out of blocks, pretty much. For Minecraft, this is ridiculous. Like, I'm not trying to put Minecraft down, but you don't normally see models like this in Minecraft. You see, like, square old sheep over here, which is, like, just blocky sheep. But this, even though it uses just squares pretty much, it has an actual, like, shape and model of a Spinosaurus, and it looks so realistic, and it's so nice. Well, realistic for Minecraft. I, got, I need to say that just to make sure you guys don't think I'm saying it actually looks realistic. Anyway, he's roaring, and, oh, just... All these animations, these roars, everything is so cool. Uh, what should we do? What should we do? Okay, as I don't show these dinosaurs off enough, I feel I'm going to watch him hunt. Let's put some dinosaurs in him in here to see if he hunts. Uh, we're gonna have to put some small ones. So what do we want? We want Ophelia, maybe. They're the ones all the guys seem to eat. So let's put. Some, oh, cracky! Nope. Let's pick that up. Let's put some. No, no. Off, not off Nelia. They're too small. Actually, oh, cracky, he went for it anyway. Not off nearly. What are we looking for? We're looking for... Uh, high cephalodon, that's it. High cephalodon. Hey, 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 hey. For a resource, nope. High cephalodon. Okay, we just dropped that as well. Let's pick that up. And where are these? High cephalodons. Any one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it doesn't really matter how many I've hit him. Look at him, he's sprinting in after him. He's already got one. Like, he kills these guys so quickly, he's so strong. He just looks at them and they die. That's a bit pretty funny. But yeah, that's this. Um, I'm going to build a walkway now from this side. Uh, from the Ankylosaur and Triceratops enclosure over here. And, well, I'll show you that in a minute. So, let's go. For the pathway, I've decided to go along the Ankylosaur enclosure so you can still see them in there. Are there any in there? Yep, there's some over there. They're not over here at the moon. Go down here. And have this nice little area, maybe for an enclosure or two, maybe more petting zoo style enclosures. I don't know. Here's a triceratops. Is we're gonna like go down here, have this go down here, and go down there along there, and maybe go back on the other side. But yeah, this is what we're gonna do. We've got stairs here, so we can come down nice and safely. There you go. Puts a put the fences along it like this, just so you can't come off. Which is nice and yep that's pretty much what I'm doing so let's turn it back to daytime and get finished building this path what's pretty cool is we could maybe make a tiny enclosure here for like a tiny dinosaur and have a big one over here I don't really know there's a lot of work space to work with and it's pretty cool we could do anything with it give me some ideas I'm currently thinking of doing the uh, uh, what's you call it Theropod uh, hotel that's it Theropod hotel over somewhere in the distance, somewhere over, no, not over there. We need an open land like this, so maybe over here, somewhere, not in the desert. But yeah, maybe, do you want that to happen next episode? It'll be either a long one or a two-part episode where I build, like, each part separately. 
just tell me what you want really and I'll do it. So yeah, I'm just well currently building this path still so I'll be back in a second. As you can see, one of these Hycephalodons is still alive. Somehow, where is the Spinosaurus? Where is it? Oh, it's in the ocean. So it finally decided to go there. But what's it doing? It looks like it's drowning. Oh no. Is this enclosure bad for it? I don't know. Probably actually. Maybe it's a bit too deep for him. Oh. Well, we'll leave him. Oh no, no. Okay, well, we'll leave him for the time being. We'll have to sort this out in a bit. But yeah, we're just going to finish this path off and then sort him out. So, I've done the path. Hooray, finally. We need to turn the light back on. There you go. And, well, as you can see, the Spinosaurus is still in the water. I'm hoping he doesn't die. I'm going to decide to put some sandstone in and just have it go from this level. So he doesn't sink to the bottom all the time. Maybe a bit lower. Where's sandstone? Let's go sandstone. There you go. We're gonna use this now, so be right back. Let's save the Spinosaur! <laughs> you can't bloody swim. Guys, this is a very sad time. This Spinosaurus isn't gonna survive. So, I'm gonna have to do the worst thing ever. Kill a dinosaur! I'm sorry! I'm sorry, Spinosaurus! Unless you save yourself! I can't really do much for you! And you're just drowning, so... There you go, I'm... Rest in peace! Rest in peace? What? Rest in peace, sweet prince! Anyway... Enough of that Spino... Let's continue with... Fixing this enclosure so... The next Spinosaurus... Won't die. So be right back! And there you go, I finally made the enclosure livable for the Spinosaurus, it won't drown again. There's no way for it to drown, there's little gaps in the side, but that's completely fine. I'll probably end up fixing that. It was for the older version where it couldn't get out but it could swim, but apparently it can't swim. So here, let's get Spinosaurus again. We'll spawn it on the sand and let's see what we get. Okay, what is it? Oh, it's the exact same one, pretty nice. Whoa, what what was that? Okay, let's set time to that and set weather to clear. It's raining and it's pouring. Oh, look at Spinosaurus, same one. Just a shame, but it's cool. Anyway, yep, that's the enclosure done. It's pretty big actually, bigger than I thought it would be. It's got the mix of the ocean, or ocean swamp, lake, whatever you want to call it. It's the ocean, but... It's going to be a lake for him. And the grassy lands. I'm going to build a viewing deck from here. So we'll get that done now. And after that, I'll see you in a minute. So as you can see, I've finished the viewing deck. It goes onto the ocean side of the enclosure. You can see Spinosaurus is just sitting in the water, having a rest by the looks of it. You can see over the ocean. I'm going to plan on building this out quite a bit further, the Mosasaur Aquarium, and hopefully have a couple of Mosasaurs in there, you can see from here, and maybe Dunkleostis and some other prehistoric aquatic creatures down here, and well, I'll break this and build a walkway down into the ocean, and that would be pretty cool if we could do that eventually, but next time I'm playing on the Ferropod Hotel and the Ferropod Dinosaurs. So, as you can see, I haven't built the path fully, but we're going to leave that for a bit. I'm going to make it more swamp-like, make it look a bit different compared to all the other enclosures, which look exactly the same except for the Ankylosaur one at the moment. So the view is a bit similar to the Indominus one, but not fully. As you can see, there's a baby Ankylosaur, a big Ankylosaur walking around. Pretty cutie, pretty cool. Dilos, or Dilophosauruses, in there. Ophnelia, no, Hycephalodon, and Micros. Ceratops, or Protoceratops, that's it, Protoceratops. All the different raptors and, uh, what are these guys called actually? They're called, um, Achiliator, Achilobator, Achiloator, that, yep, them guys. They're pretty much the raptors from Jurassic Park 3, which is cool that you can mix them together. There's a Starbucks. The Ophnelia down here, as you can see, I've built uh, well, the path up and down. Now I let them go through the hole. So 
Well, they've got a bit of a bigger enclosure and it's a bit more nicer walking around here. The entrance is here, the ticket gate, the bit where the boats come in, the harbour, I'm assuming, or the port, whatever you want to call it. Yep, these guys, and let's finally see my favourite ones. Dun 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 dun! Dun 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 dun! That's Halo theme tune, by the way, and there was a baby Dilophosaur. Dun 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 dun! Oh, two baby Ankylosaurs, and let's go over to the Triceratops enclosure. Hey, Triceratops, how you doing, guys? Yep, here you go. Here we are. Nice little mountain, oh, no, what, hilly, wide open land enclosure. Probably the nicest looking, as in scenery wise. Let's set the time to day again, and let's finally go back to the Spinosaurus with the path which we can go along, but we're not going to. <laughs> Where is he? He's in the water. Look, there he is, and it's pretty cool. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Jurassic Craft, guys. If you did, give me, a, give it a like. Oh, there you go, Spinosaurus is roaring. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you want me to do. And I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again with more Jurassic Craft, the game.